Well, I'm here to bring you another Kuroko Season 2 Episode 10 episode. Despite the, uh, my computer is a little bit uh, uh, in the mist. Well, first of all, Hanem Hanemaya uh, is pretty frustrated that Tepe is still standing despite uh, horrible wounds. And uh, when the and the, when the and when it's a time out for the um, a couple of minutes. Uh, Kuroko asks why Hanemaya does what he do, do. And Han Hanemaya puts on an, an act and eventually reveals he just enjoys seeing the suffering of others. Those who dedicate themselves to the basketball sport. He likes to see them squirm. He likes to see them destroyed. And he says that with a smile and a tongue out. And that <laughs> infuriates Kuroko because here's the awesome part. Where, when Kagami is venting out frustration in the locker room, um, he eventually sits down and wonders how Kuroko could say so common, but then he looks at Kuroko and, and Kuroko gives an atmosphere and an eye. That means that he is not calm. Oh no, Kuroko is pissed! That was badass. The normally calm and a little bit deadpan Kuroko is angry. <laughs> Angry indeed. <laughs> Elsewhere, also, when Aumine is taken a bathroom leak, he also meets Hanemaya and he says that he made Tetsu angry, which means uh, that he's gonna kick the bucket. And then, and uh, when the team, when the battle starts again, they, the t Hanemaya's team tries to break down the vanishing drive because they think they figured out how, but they, it reveals it's not that how. But instead. Hanamaya calls in a new place, someone called Seto, with a mole in his head and he comes back his hair. And uh, there, Imayoshi, Ima, Ima who is uh, the captain of the Toa Academy where A Aumene is, is, is right now, reveals that uh, somehow that uh, Hanamaya is both the coach and the captain for the Daichiri High School, which probably means that not even the coach could stand their foul ways so and he also reveals a, su a surprising thing when suddenly the day the game starts and no matter what happened Itsuki cannot pass Hanemaya keep continue to steal until there's an 11 point difference Imayoshi reveals that despite being a bad boy despite being a sadistic guy and despite being well uh, smug and all all of that comes to actually be feared because Hanemaya is also not only arrogant because of his ways, he's also arrogant because he is a genius. Yes, not only is Hanemaya a cheating bastard who likes to trick people, people, he is also so genius that he looks down on other people. Well, technically, you do not say this, but this also reveals a lot about Hanemaya's character. That they're one of the reasons why he is this sadistic is also because he is so smart. Uh, because apparently, as Imayoshi says, Hanemaya is a genius, and uh, he could calculate basketball players by uh, studying them a while. Apparently, they went to middle school together. However, he cannot do that alone. The guy with the mole called Seto is also a genius, but he is not smarter than uh, Hanemaya. However, working together, he can take away the you. You, all the useless information while Han and I do all the right information therefore they can steal the passes. Siren is in trouble however Kroko gives an idea and when the game and um, when they call a timeout uh, and uh, play again Kroko passes and an awesome music plays my fair friends I mean an awesome music beat and reveals that Kroko has a way to break Han and Maya's prediction not by and that's by still passing. However, he always looks with, he always tells the people with his eye contact that he's gonna pass them. However, now he's just passing out of the blue, which means this is a pass not even the Siren team will see coming. And that brings so much awesome, I tell you. It really gives a lot about Kuroko's character, really. He is real, like, even Kuroko is smart and is a bit, and, and is observant. He is not to be messed with. According to Hanemaya's taste, and but then as the final timeout, uh, Rico says to Tepe that he must uh, 
uh, he cannot play anymore because she's afraid he will completely break and everybody agrees Iriko says that even if you will hate me I will sub you out eventually Tepe says fine and he sits down next week I have a feeling the conclusion will be it uh, but this really gave a lot of feeling I like to see Kroko's angry face <laughs> you know <laughs> despite being a weak unskilled guy to other b basketball players eyes he is the guy that you should not underestimate and it's also as I said before uh, honey am I is an intelligent that's also for those who haven't seen this this should actually be a bit surprising I mean they always thought it was a cheating way now he's also and a deceiver now he's also even a and uh, one brainer. This is also a bit cruel. The saying that smart, uh, smart people are overbearing, and I'm, I'm no, maybe not overbearing was the right word I was looking for, but you know what I mean. Some say that natural geniuses are, dif are difficult to get along with because, well, they are so smart. But since I am not a genius, uh, then I guess I am the one that I then. I'm judging them too hard, it doesn't matter. But uh, as I said, once again, an awesome match. Looking forward to the conclusion. See you then.